gcalendar is a small command line tool to list your google calendar events on your terminal let's see how to set up gcalendar and uh, how to authenticate it to list your calendar events so first of all you need to install these uh, dependencies let's copy it and paste it so since i already have these dependencies installed in my system uh, there's nothing new to be installed then you need to clone the repository in your machine so i'm cloning it on my desktop so once it's cloned change the directory to gcalendar if you want check uh, we have all these files there then we can install it using pip3 install so once gcalendar is installed you can check it's the help you see the help message so first of all we need to authenticate gcalendar in order to use it so just type gcalendar and hit enter it will automatically open the um, google authentication page so here you can see we have this accounts.google.com sign in off with the client id um, and you'll uh, be asked to choose an account to continue to gcalendar so here i have my uh, gmail account listed here so let's click on that still my application is not verified the whole purpose of this video is getting my appro my application verified by google so i'm going to click on this advanced and go to gcalendar so once the application is approved and verified by google you won't see this screen uh, you will be directly taken to the next screen this one so you have to grant uh, gcalendar the permission to read your calendar events don't worry it only reads your calendar events there is nothing to be uh, modified so i'm uh, requesting only for the um, calendar read permission so let's allow that taking some time right so uh, you had to confirm your choice you are allowing the calendar to be your calendars yes i trust it the authentication flow has completed so if you want you can close this tab coming back to the terminal you see your calendar events let's try again g calendar it will print the next seven day calendar events uh, from your google calendar there are some additional parameters so if you want to print the next 30 day events you can provide number of days 30 and you can also list the calendars so i have these calendars and you can choose from what calendar you want to print events so i don't have any uh, events found in last seven days so let's increase the number of days So then uh, we also support uh, separate accounts. So by default, uh, G Calendar has the default account. So if you want to access uh, multiple Gmail accounts, then you may need this account feature. So suppose I want to create a new account or access a different account name Foo. I'm going to use G Calendar account Foo. It will ask you to authenticate again. So in this case I, still it's like I, I have only one uh, gmail account so i'm going to use that but if you have multiple gmail accounts you feel free to pick another one so let's the same procedure go to calendar i'm going to grant permission allow yes i confirm done so again you can see the events now you can switch between uh, different accounts the default one is default or you don't provide any name or you can switch uh, between and finally if you want to reset you just provide reset so it will reset everything that means if you want to access the default account again you need to authenticate again